As gamers, we've all been in this situation. You get home from a long day of school, settle in for some quality gaming time, and you hear... Have you done your homework yet? But what if video games were our homework? This future might be closer than you think. Today, I'm attending a class where the tools are a little different, more my style, because this lesson is based around Nintendo's Labo Kits. Someone who knows a little bit about teaching tech is Girl Geek Academy's Sarah Moran, who has teamed up with Nintendo to launch this Australian first program. So you're here today teaching younger gamers to code. How did that begin? We're part of a school's program that's nationwide across Australia where we're combining some learning with the concepts of STEAM, so science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics. To inspire young people, we need to talk about games and play and really be able to teach those skills in a way that's engaging and fun. The lesson begins with building and then playing with the Labo kits. Once we'd mastered playing them, we learned a bit about how they worked, which was pretty cool. Can you see how there's actually stickers on all sides of the block? And the stickers move as well when you actually use the block. So that way it knows when they're being used. We then dove into the Toy-Con garage to look at the coding behind the games and learn how to code ourselves. Does anyone know what coding is? You could tell me, yeah? Um, it's like putting things in order. You, um, tell your robot you want the robot to do a spin and then you program it to do a spin. Yeah, that's exactly right. This little black screen, can you see that? Yeah. You can use these little menus, just like a computer, to select anything that you might like and the nodes will pop up on the screen, those inputs and outputs that we talked about. Can you hear the sound coming out of it? So now you've got a horn and you go... Partnership with Nintendo come about? Most schools are starting to teach coding around about like eight years old. We know that you can really start teaching, particularly the algorithmic thinking concepts that come around with STEM uh, at an early age. So I learned to code when I was five years old, and to be able to, you know, open up the Nintendo Labo and to be able to do that, it is such a, a great program. We had to be a part of it. Well, that all sounds great, but what do the spawn links think about this new kind of lesson? How are you finding it? You enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite part of working on this? I don't know. <laughs> That's Everything. Okay. Everything? Yes. yes. What's been your favourite part? A favourite part of playing this is not even these control bits yeah. and feeling the red tear that comes from here to here. Yeah. And it vibrates too. Oh. It does too. I think that's a big tick from the Spawnlings, but is the teacher convinced? What do you think of a hands-on approach like this for young gamers? Um, I think it's a great approach, um, especially when they can actually see the results themselves. I think it gets them to think critically and creatively. Even with some of the activities we're seeing right now, we can see how they're trying different things and finding different solutions to different problems. Do you think we'll see a day when uh, homework is playing video games or something like it? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, wouldn't that be a great day at school? What we are seeing is teachers across Australia are embracing digital technology. And when we talk about hacking, we talk about creative problem solving. And that's literally what games are, is it's using your brain uh, in a way. You're not passively consuming something. You're actively involved. Um, you're often building things, you know? You're often putting things together, which kind of makes you want to go back to school in one of those weird ways. Ha, ha, ha.